alcohol. So a lot of people say, well, you know, I only drink the finest aged alcohol. That's all biological. That's the people who know French. It's bio booze. <laughs> booze is a poison. There is no alcohol that is healthy for you, period. You say, well, the studies show, the studies from the alcohol industry show, oh, yes. The studies from the meat industry show, oh, yes. The dairy industry, the bread industry, the pharmaceutical industry, oh, yes, they show it, because that's where they invest their marketing dollars. At corrupt organizations like Harvard and Stanford and Princeton and Cornell and Oxford and Cambridge and McGill, because they want the big name boys. They want the major league boys to back them. And they tell you, well, alcohol is good. A few winters ago, because they always come out with these studies around October, November, just before the holidays. The holidays, you guys booze it up, man. You never drink in your life, you're boozing it up on the holiday. From Thanksgiving until New Year's Eve, what? You're in seventh heaven there. So I couldn't believe this study. I said, they are really taking the public as fools. Seemingly, you are. And this came out of Denmark, their largest university. I happened to live in Denmark back in the 70s. Really nice country. They're happy as hell. And this study said, if you take one glass of whiskey a day, your health is going to improve. Listen to this. Your health is going to improve. But if you take two, your life expectancy will drop by three years. I said, look, I know not everyone has formal educations in mathematics, but if double makes you die three years sooner, does half make you die in a year and a half sooner? But you said, well, the top university in Denmark said, whiskey is good. And they say, well, the grapes inside of wine have an antioxidant effect that's good. I blow that out of the water and show about 20 studies in my academic books called Food is Medicine, that once it ferments into alcohol, this phytochemical's gone. It doesn't exist. If you just take the grape skin, that's where this antioxidant phytochemical is. Fermented in alcohol, why? Because the other thing they preserve things in. You can preserve part of a human body in alcohol for hundreds of years. Because life does not live in alcohol. Life does not live in salt. Life does not live in sugar. But you eat alcohol, and you eat sugar, and you eat salt, and you think this stuff is healthy for you, and some idiot health authority is telling you it is good for you. I wonder whose payroll she's on, or he's on. Last year, I was so happy, two prominent scientists, the same year, 2019, came out and said, there is no level of alcohol that's good. Now look into this. Mortality rates dramatically increase with alcohol. Alcohol consumption has been linked to an increase in a wide variety and types of cancer. Not only in the throat, esophageal forms of cancer, the larynx, but also Stomach, colon, rectal, liver, breast, and ovarian cancer. Any of you want those cancers? Keep boozing it up on your organic wine. You say, well, the alcohol in wine is different than whiskey. It's the same thing. Those of you that are chemists here know what I'm talking about. If I analyze alcohol from a wine or alcohol from a whiskey, it is the same chemical composition. And guess what it is? It's highly, highly fermented sugars. Now we go back, the big circle. So why do you preserve parts of bodies for hundreds of years in this stuff? Because the base of the fermentation of the whiskey is grains and sugar, of the wine is grapes and sugar, and this is a deadly poison. The other thing I want to blow out of the water here is I'm tired of them saying the governments that make Billions and billions of dollars of tax dollars globally every year, alcohol and drugs. Alcohol is the worst drug that humans have ever put their hands on, destroyed more lives, killed more people, and continues to do it. That's the drug. You yuppies, stop your shit. 